Now, there's a group of people out here that think that Farrakhan has something to do with the murder of Brother Malcolm. First one in 95, so figure I'd give this one a shot. Out here with my brothers, man, Airborne International. Making rounds, being where places we say we gonna be, we gonna be there, you know what I'm saying? I came to come build with my people. I came to get, come build with my people. Book I can't be around all this positive energy. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. I came out here because I need to hear fair speak. I need to see my people unite. Yeah, I decided to participate in the Million Man's March 2015 Justice or else. Um, wanted to be a part of something monumental, something big, epic. I felt it was something that was necessary and needed to be addressed as a whole to a community of people that's suffering right now. The first time I came 20 years ago just to learn more about the truth, more about unity among our people. I had the opportunity to bring my son as an 11 year old and let him learn about this country, about all the ills that we deal with as a people. And I came out here because the seed was planted 20 years ago. I came to the first one with my pops. I was a young pup. But like I said, that seed was planted. I couldn't wait to get back here next time so I can soak up the gym. Actually, just out here, uh, unify with the people. I'm uh, happy to be out here, you know, see a lot of strong black people out here, and, uh, see a positive movement that's going on. You know, uh, a lot of people, you know, they they had negative thoughts and negative things to say about the movement, but you know, I just wanted to be out here with the people, show some support get some knowledge, and uh, see how we can build that community. Nation of Islam, FOI, soldiers, you know, we, we, we the liaison between the people and the mother people, you know. We gonna stand here and put our life on the line and make sure that you don't have to, you know, bottom line. And uh, that's, that's, that's by Allah's permission. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what it is, you know what I mean? We was able to pull off a successful Million Man March, you know, and uh, that's just the beginning, just to bring the people together to assemble, to prepare for what's coming next, and that's a lot of work. I came out here to learn, you know, came out here to learn about unity, 
Time out here to, you know, hear them instructions from the great minister so we can move in a greater direction and take care of our people in a much better life. You know, all we want is justice. So at this point, it's justice at all. I think it'll be gaining more of a foundation on what I already got going on. And the knowledge of myself and building with my brothers, man, and just having an experience I ain't never had before. I think this is a positive event. I'm glad we out here together. I just hope I can take away something that's going to further my knowledge and further my exploration of learning something about myself. Um, I'm glad I came out. The energy was electric. It was nothing but love from the people in all directions. The minister touched on multiple topics uh, on a vast vast variety of things that all all pertinent to our situation in our current state in the black community also in the Latin community and Native American and other communities where we tend to have a divide we have people from all over the world here travel here to just feel see how it can be um, assist to our community help each other out um, we, we do people, um, I don't know man, it's a little bit of everything, it's just kind of overwhelming right now. It's, it's, it's a war on both fronts, two fronts, you know, we gotta unify our people, you know, stop the killing amongst one another, and we also gotta work and make sure that we get rid of all fear and allowing that other side to kill and murder us and our babies, put our baby girls at stake and all that. So it's time for the men to stand up and I'll follow the minister, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, a million percent. Uh, end up gaining a lot of tools, you know, a lot of tools was dropped up here. Uh, main thing is, you know, we need to, as a community, get together, build together, because ain't nobody else gonna help us out here, you know what I mean? Don't nobody else wanna help us out here, so we gotta wanna help ourselves. We gotta wanna do it for ourselves. gave the scripture that if we could love each other as ourselves and treat each other with love, that we would be the most powerful force in the universe. We would get back to our original self. Right now, we're not that. That's what I'm getting out of coming here today. That we have over a million people that's willing to make change. I don't think anybody really should have came in attendance to expect um, an immediate change right then and there. I don't think a march in itself changes anything, but the onus is up to each individual to take whatever they gather from being in attendance and take it back to their own communities and start to change with itself and causing a trickle down effect, ultimately causing change in the collective. Each one teach one. about it. 
even if it's like um, a group of mothers at the schools, if we take $20 and put it into a pot, $20 busy dollars for a whole month, if you have 100 people, that's a few thousand dollars. So if your babies are lacking books, lacking supplies, you solve your problem like that in one month. So you can pull from that pot and continue to generate back into that pot within your people and your community because 95% of our money goes to somebody else. And they give us an illusion and, and make us believe that we're poor. Like black people are far from poor because we're the biggest consumers. People are doing studies on us, on, on what to, on how we spend it to know what to put in these markets. Like it's no surprise that you go into these Asian shops and they have every single product that we use. That's because they do studies on us. This is real. We only put 5% in our own people's hands. I come down on the bus with people organizing things. We didn't even stop. We should have organized only black stops along the way. You know what I mean? We, every stop is 50 people on the bus. What you think about it's like five, ten dollars a person? What is like four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars every stop for one bus? And we get several buses, you know what I mean? So we got to organize, we got to organize minds, organize our steps, look at the black yellow pages, and just like plan out your moves throughout the day, whether it's the oil change, you know. And if you put money back into your own communities, that's creating more jobs because they're gonna, these places are gonna uh, let's close put it down. This, let's put it this way they didn't even know what they was walking into, they thought I was on some rap, shit, you know what I mean. I pray these words I convey will lead you astray. And may they help you find your way through these 50 shades of Freddie Gray. But as I garner up enough breath to breathe, I pray another young Eric won't perish before he makes enough dollars to feed his seed. See, that's EPMD and that'd be beautiful. But I live in constant fear that my son may end up like Tamir. No rice at his wedding, but flowers at his funeral. That'd be crucial. I mean, this can't be the dream foreseen by Dr. Martin Luther. That when young kings and queens see those red, white, and blue beams, they're not there to intervene, but they're there to deal and roof you. A dark cloud has been casted over this bright future. So now the question is, why should I confide or comply with the replies of an authoritative figure? Because no matter what I decide, in his eyes, I'm just an ordinary nigga. So right now I'm Bruce or maybe I'm Caitlyn Jenner. In other words, I'm confused because I figured those boys in blues who's... Fox News point of views covered by Oakleys would inspire more Stokelys. You know, to give me that two cents in the blueprint or how to conduct myself whenever them laws approach me. But it seems as if the elders have failed us. Criticizing all of our errors and failures as if they forgot what the struggle was since they killed Malcolm Martin and Megan Evers. So I guess it's safe to assume this food for thoughts two sons are playing for you to understand. But please allow her death to be the Lowry's in it. We come in peace, but please do not provoke us to bring the violence with us because we're tired of turning the other cheek and waiting for the meek to inherit while forgiving those that trespass against us because it seems like that blindfolded chick and the scales are just us. She blind to just us. We're pointing to you live from the world's greatest nation that spends more money on a child's incarceration than that same said child education and got us all fronting as if every person isn't here through some form of illegal immigration. Shout out to the Native American nations. Got you gas as if the Union's war with the Confederation was about the Emancipation Proclamation. You gotta be John F. kidding me. Donald Trump, you if you ain't hearing me, turn me up in your Sam DeBose speakers. Because these words right here, Christian Taylor made to make non-believers into believers of the new civil rights movement. Fighting for some form of retribution. But we first must have a personal evolution before the masses start respecting this revolution. So now the chant is, Black Lives Matter as if Black lives never mattered before. They hit us right back with all lives matter. Now we right back to black lives not mattering anymore. Somebody need to settle the score. Ah, yeah. So allow me to Bobby sign and seal this deal. Let's make all this negative noise stop. Stop the rioting. Stop the violence. We've already marched. The next course of action, boycott. Boy, Peace, y'all. Hey, 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 tell the cameras who you are. Andre Stockton, man. I am the American dream. Hey, I've been on the block slaying these cats for years, man. We out that game. We, we're doing something civilized for the people now. You hear me? Straight up. I got all here this. Same on premises, uh, propaganda source that, you know. That's right. That is all coming from. So they're not even qualified to speak on on this. That's true. Because this ain't that. Right, right. So they can, we can't expect them to understand mm -hmm. this is not that what you have to like I was saying like God speaks all languages at once so we have to know our brothers our sisters from from anywhere like I'm not qualified to to uh, to go at it with our 
Hebrew Israelite brothers right. mm -hmm. if I haven't studied No, you have to. Right. If I'm not mm -hmm. studied on what it is, right. now we, right. it's a new mm -hmm. point. What are we arguing about again? I don't right. know you, you barely know me. We mm -hmm. just know each other off face value. Right. So mm -hmm. what is it? You know? Then we, we get past the 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 beliefs, the outside, others, the exterior. And they, and they let, uh, and they let uh, others dictate the conversation. You know? Yes, sir. I mean, they, I remember when I first joined, I never forget, I, um, um, we was doing a fundraiser, uh, brother, uh, the brother that was running the final call thing, Wally Muhammad. Yes, sir. Am I saying his name right? The one that That's died, the editor? That's not So I was doing the fundraiser, so I went to City College in New York uh, to see Dr. Jeffers. Yes, and, uh, you know, I, you know, my brother like had kids in his family, so I had a, uh, had a way in to meet with him. And when I got there, you know, you know, the brothers was tripping like, "Oh, oh, oh you a Muslim?" You know, I said, yeah. "You know, you know, yes, I'm a Muslim." And uh, you know, yeah, we, you know, we used to, you know, I used to, you know, it was one brother. He used to be in the nation, but for some reason he had a problem. And you know, we just started going back and forth, but. I, you know, because I was studying like Dr. Jeffries and Dr. Ben and Clark, I was quoting a lot of things that they was talking about. Yes, sir. And that, that warmed the brothers up, you know, because they always under the impression if you do one thing that you're not aware of, of something else. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, it was just, it was like a beautiful experience because they was like, oh, you a Muslim? But then I was quoting, you know, like uh, the curriculum of inclusion that Dr. Jeffries is mm -hmm. real big on. I was quoting all of this, and I'm quoting some Dr. Ben, some Dr. Clark. They was like, oh, you a Muslim? And so that, that's what people don't understand. Knowledge don't belong to no one particular yes, person. Yes, I mean, it is, it is universal. We the yes, original sir. man. We supposed to yes, know all. We have to know all. All We have to have friends, all walks, ships of life. We got to know all of that. Yes, sir. You know, I don't realize Muhammad said, sit yourself in heaven at, at once. once. People don't understand that. Yes, sir. You got to study these things.